close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hey everyone, what is up? I'm in my kitchen today because I've just been in here for a few hours making some really fun fall treats. This video was so much fun to make and these DIYs are just so cute. I'm showing you how to make some acorns, a Fig Newton Bible, and some pumpkins. So give this video a thumbs up if you like any of those and if you like treats because who doesn't like treats? Treats are really good and they're just so much fun to make too. They're so, so cute. I'm really excited to show you guys how to make these. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. For the Rice Krispie pumpkins, you're going to need one bag of marshmallows, some chocolate chips, six cups of Rice Krispies, three tablespoons of butter, some food coloring, and some green icing, which is optional. To start off, you're going to want to melt your butter on a medium heat in a pan on top of the stove. And then once your butter is almost melted, you're going to add in your marshmallows, and these are just going to melt down into some nice marshmallow fluff. And then you're going to add three drops of yellow food coloring and two drops of red food coloring, or if you have orange food coloring you can just use that and you're going to stir it all together Then in a separate bowl, you might not want to use a plastic bowl like I did because the marshmallow fluff is still hot because you just took it off the stove. You're going to want to add 6 cups of Rice Krispies and then add your marshmallow mix that you just made and then you're going to mix it all together. I tried to use a spoon but I realized that using my hands actually worked a lot better. Once your Rice Krispies and your marshmallow mix are mixed together, you're going to want to form little pumpkin shapes out of the Rice Krispies. And just be careful because these Rice Krispies are super, super sticky. You might want to put some Crisco or something on your hands so they don't stick as bad, but you're just going to form little pumpkins. After your pumpkins are formed, you're going to want to melt some chocolate by using your chocolate chips. You're just going to melt some of them and then you're going to take some more chocolate chips and then attach the melted chocolate to the bottom of the chocolate chip and then put it on top of the little pumpkin ball that you made and this will act as the pumpkin stem. And then this is optional but you can take green icing and draw little leaves onto your pumpkins. I thought these pumpkins were super cute and if you love Rice Krispies you will definitely like these. For these acorns you'll need some Ritz Bits, Hershey Kisses, and chocolate chips. So you're again going to want to melt some of your chocolate chips. And if you're doing this in the microwave, make sure you're doing it in increments and mixing in between so you don't burn your chocolate. I burnt my chocolate just a little bit, but yeah, just make sure you're doing it in increments. And then you're going to want to put your Ritz Bits on a plate and unwrap your Hershey Kisses. And with the melted chocolate, you're going to want to put the melted chocolate onto the bottom of a Hershey Kiss and then attach it to one side of the Ritz Bit. Once you have attached all of your Hershey Kisses, then you're going to want to take your chocolate chip and then do the same thing by putting melted chocolate on the bottom of the chocolate chip and then attach it to the other side of the Ritz Bits. And then there you have it. You just have these super cute acorns and these taste really good. It's chocolate and peanut butter together. So they just taste amazing and yeah, you should definitely try them out. These Fig Newton Bibles are super easy and all you need for them are Fig Newtons and white gel icing that you can write with. And all you're going to do is take a Fig Newton and then use your icing to draw along the edges of the Fig Newton and then draw across in the middle. And I just think these are super cute. I'm not a huge fan of Fig Newton, but I still loved how this turned out. So 
So that's it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed because I worked really hard on this video, so please give it a big thumbs up. If you recreate any of these treats, I would love to see it, so you can send it to me on my Instagram or my Twitter. If you like this video and you think a friend would like it too, then go ahead and share it with them. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys!